from a professional standpoint, um, we as nurses and doctors try our best to provide the best care, but that doesn't mean that it actually gets to each and every individual that comes into a healthcare facility. So it's important for that person, um, the individual, to take more control of how they're treated and what's going on with their bodies, and especially during crisis time. One of my children um, is in his early 20s. Um, he works as a chef at a restaurant and he had um, sustained a small laceration to his middle finger. The emergency services he went to, they washed that finger and did a great job with that finger, but for some reason did not pay as much attention to the um, small abrasion he had on his hand. Within a week's time, he started to have some pain and swelling, redness. He went back to the emergency room and um, they knew it was an infectious process. They gave him an antibiotic and sent him home. He ended up going back again because it just didn't get any better. He ended up um, being diagnosed with MRSA at that point, um, being hospitalized on intravenous um, antibiotics now we have this community-acquired MRSA, methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, that is much more um, aggressive of a microbe. What seemed to be just a very trivial little abrasion turned out to be a very serious infection. And um, if he hadn't been diligent in going back, he could have died from this. You do think uh, that you can prevent a lot of things, but not everything is preventable. We get exposed to things every day. I would say that we're more diligent in washing our hands. Um, I've always been very compulsive about that. Certainly when I go into the grocery store and I see they now have sanitary wipes to wipe down the, um, the shopping carts, that's a good thing. So now he preaches hand washing. He is very open to other people as far as um, the dangers of what MRSA can do. And yeah, he, he never s expected this to happen to him. <laughs>